Hello everyone, I am Dr. Mohal Banker, Intervention Radiologist from Bankers Vasco Hospital and today we are going to uh, discuss one important case and we consider it is a, a live case for genicular artery embolization. In this case, I am going to show you how we plan this uh, genicular artery embolization and how we execute this genicular artery embolization. So first let me let me introduce you what is a, this treatment called genicular artery embolization. So this a treatment is for the osteoarthritis of the knee joint. So whenever there is osteoarthritis of the knee joint, patient has a knee pain and continues knee pain. Many times the patient will start with some conservative treatment like medicines and physiotherapy. Initially it responds well but uh, after, uh, after some time this physiotherapy and medicines are not uh, uh, not giving the relief into the symptoms and that's why patients get frustrated and ultimately uh, uh, they convince to get rid of this knee pain with this uh, knee replacement surgery. But now with the advanced treatment of genicular artery embolization you, you can avoid this uh, knee replacement surgery and I am going to show you how we are doing this genicular artery embolization. So, uh, in genicular artery embolization, we do the angiography of the knee joint. You must have heard about the angiography of the heart. It's uh, since many decades, cardiologists are, are doing this angiography of heart. They're putting the stands and balloons, everything. And the, similarly, the, we do the angiography of the knee joint. And uh, there are six genicular arteries. Uh, we supplying the knee joint. So first we identify, we, we hook this all this genicular artery and we try to uh, identify the which genicular artery is a, has a culprit vessels called Moya Moya blood vessels. So Moya Moya blood vessels are the blood vessels which releasing the cytokines uh, which are the responsible for these arthritis uh, uh, within the knee joint. So let me show you how we perform this genicular artery embolization and uh, uh, how this genicular artery embolization is helpful for relieving the knee pain. So <clears throat> there is a case of uh, genicular artery embolization and uh, there is an angiography of the knee joint. You are able to see it. there is a knee joint over here and uh, uh, there is a, a femoral artery and there is a popliteral artery. The one artery which is arising from over here, this is called descending genicular artery. So these are descending genicular artery which is going towards the knee joint and once we cannulate it and uh, uh, then take on the selective angiography of this descending genicular artery and over here you are able to see there is a blackish hyper, hypervascular blush. So this is a particular area where uh, these cytokines are released within the knee joint and uh, once we identify these are culprit vessels, so these are Moya Moya blood vessels over here and uh, once we identify it, then what we do? So we inject this small embolizing particle, so there is a main catheter over here, there is a micro catheter and from micro catheter we inject this uh, embolizing particle, these are the 45 microns embolizing particle which block this Moya Moya, Moya blood vessels. So by blocking it, we are expecting that the cytokines release within the knee joint should be stopped and the cytokines release once stopped, it will uh, reverse the chronic inflammation, the chronic process of chronic inflammation will stop and that's why the patient has a very good pain relief. Now uh, I will show you the follow up uh, angiography uh, after, after taking these uh, uh, after injecting this 45 microns embolizing particles. So you can see over here the vascular blush which was very prevalent and it was involving in the entire this region. Now it's limited to the this region only. So after first embolization the vascular blush is limited. Uh, uh, vascular blush reduce the moya moya blood vessels they reduce and again I have injected small embolizing particle to for the remaining vascular blush and uh, 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 Ultimately, all the Moya Moya blood vessels is disappeared and the patient has a significant pain relief. So these are one vessels which I have shown you, but there are multiple blood vessels. We, uh, we have to check it. Uh, first one, the descending genicular artery, then 
uh, here is a supramedial, supralateral genical artery. So these are supralateral genical artery. What? Uh, uh, so these are supralateral genical artery. Similarly, here the supramedial genical artery. So these are intracondylar genical artery. Ultimately, we check all these blood vessels. These are supramedial genicular artery and the vascular brush what we encountered into this descending genicular artery was a maximum. These are inframedial genicular artery here also you are able to see the little bit vascular brush. So these are vascular brush over here but the area is not that much weak like what we have seen into, the, into this descending genicular artery. Genicular artery embolization. We check the six genicular arteries and uh, whenever we find this vascular brush, I inject this uh, embolizing particle and by injecting this embolizing particle, actually the mechanism of action is that we, uh, we are targeting the uh, re stop, we, we stop the releasing of the cytokines within the knee joint and it works wonderfully. There is no complication of this procedure, there is no anesthesia required, just single needle puncture whenever you are taking any kind of injection so what needle which we use for that injection similar gauge needle is used for uh, for this genicular artery embolization so there is no much more complications what we have noticed after after doing lots of cases but uh, a genicular artery embolization it reduces the chronic inflammation within the knee joint and uh, it helps a lot many patients ask me that uh, uh, what you are injecting within the within for this genicular artery embolization. So uh, I inject this 45 micros embolizing particle. This embolizing particle block the small tiny moya moya blood vessels, which are responsible for releasing the cytokines and it and it stop this chronic inflammation. So uh, hope you understand this genicular artery embolization topic very well. Uh, if you have any kind of doubt, if you have any kind of question to ask me, I would be very happy to give you answer. Thank you.